My name is Alan Steele, and I'm a professional poker player. When I was younger, I really wanted to learn how to play poker, but our family was too poor to afford an entire deck of cards. So every month, I'd go down to the corner store and buy one card at a time. And actually, when I was 15 years old, I wrote my own book on poker, Winning Poker with Only 47 Cards in a Deck. Well, I am of the camp that there is no such thing as luck in poker. For example, let's say that I am a 97% favorite and then I get beaten on the river card. Was that bad luck? No. I have done something bad and I deserve to be punished. Very, I don't have very big hands, so I can't do some of the more, you know, more difficult chip tricks. And I guess I'm not as flashy than as some of the other players at the table, but, you know, I think I've got my own flash of the own when I'm doing this thing here. Huh? And there. And then it's there. And then it's there. And then I, and then I do the four aces thing. And sometimes I can't go out and just go to the restaurants. I get mobbed by people asking me, well, what would you do with there's aces and queens showing and you've got pocket, fo uh, pocket kings buried? And then I'll say, I'll say, shut up. I'm in the middle of trying to enjoy my be meal. Shut your, shut your pie hole. And then someone will make a set on the river and I'll, I'll have learned my lesson. One thing that you'll see, you'll see at the poker table is guys wearing hats or, or glasses and they'll pull the hats down low or put on the glasses so, so that the other players can't read their hands. But sometimes if I'm at a final table, I'll pull out something like this. You know, and you're like, okay. All right, try to read me now. Okay. What's in my hand now? What do I got? Come on. Just try. Look at me. Tell me. What, can you read my hands? Can you read my hand, Phil Helmuth? You're so smart. Well, look into this face and tell me if you can read my hand. And then sometimes, if I need to take it up another notch, I, I'll use what I call the Allen Steel. Uh, you can't read what I've got in my cards buried underneath what I, my hand technique. And I'm wearing the hat and the mask. And then I just do a little cure. It's like that, 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 ba da 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 da, that, 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 ba da 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 da. I looked him dead in the eyes and I said, Phil Helmuth, I will make you eat chips. And then I just started taking chips and I just started throwing at him. I'm like, you will eat chips, Phil Helmuth. You will eat them all. Now, some people try to criticize my game, saying, hey, if you're dealing 15 cards to every person and 15 cards to the table, there's only room for two people in a game. And that may be so, but that hasn't prevented me from locking hard to get Montana into the World Series Poker this year and every year for the past nine years.